Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's learn how to replace the computed option with the composition API. To get us started, in the components folder, I've created a file called computed.view since computed is the option we are trying to replace. Within the file, we have the code for a simple component. It contains the data option with two properties, fname and lname. In the template, we have two input elements and we use the vmodel directive with the fname and lname properties for two-way binding. Below the two inputs, we have a binding to full name. Full name is a computed property defined using the computed option in the component. It is simply a concatenation of first name and last name as you can see. If we include the component in app.view and head to the browser, fill in fname and lname, and you can see the full name computed and rendered in the browser. Now let's learn how to replace this computed option with the composition API. Let's first look at an example with the ref function and then the reactive function. Begin by importing ref from view. Next, add the setup method. Let's define two references. const ref first name is equal to ref with an empty string. And similarly, const ref last name is equal to ref with an empty string. Return both of them and bind to the input elements using the vmodel directive. So I'm going to copy the two input elements paste it but change vmodel to ref first name and ref last name. After the inputs, we want to display the full name which is computed from the two properties. Now how do we do that with the composition API? Well, we do it using the computed function. So import computed from view and then in the setup method, call the computed function. This function accepts a function as its argument, which returns a computed value. It's a function which returns a computed value. In our case, we return first name dot value followed by last name dot value. We need dot value since this is created using the ref function. Let's store the returned value in a constant called ref full name. Now once we have the computed property, return it and add it to the template. So I'm going to copy this, paste it and change options to composition and the full name is ref full name. If we now head back to the browser, fill in the first name and last name, you can see that full name is computed as expected. Also, what is worth noting is just like refs, computed properties also need to be accessed using dot value within the setup function but within the template, view will unpack the value for us. All right, next, let's take a look at an example with the reactive function. Begin by importing reactive and two refs from view. In the setup method, declare a reactive reference. So const state is equal to reactive and we pass in an object where we have reactive first name set to an empty string and reactive last name set to an empty string as well. Return state using the two refs function and bind it to the input elements using the vmodel directive. So let's make a copy of this. For first name, 
the model is going to be reactive first name and the second input v model is going to be reactive last name. Let's change the heading to reactive full name is reactive full name and reactive full name of course needs to be computed. So let's go back to our setup function and define the property using the computed function. Const reactive full name is going to be equal to the computed function. The computed function accepts a function as its argument and returns a value. We are going to return state dot reactive first name followed by state dot reactive last name. We don't need dot value since this is created using the reactive function. Once we have the computed property, return it. We already have it in the template. We now save the file and head back to the browser. Fill in first name and last name and full name is computed as expected. So this is pretty much how you replace the computed option with the composition API. Define your reactive references and using the computed function from view, return a value that comprises of the references. Return the computed value from the setup method and bind it to the template. Whenever the reactive references change, Vue will automatically compute the new value and bind it to the UI. Alright then, in the next video, let's understand how to replace watchers with the composition API. Thank you guys for watching and if you're finding the videos helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.